Welcome back. If you're new around here, we're Charlie and Tasha, and we travel in our self-converted van with our two dogs, Riley and Winnie. We're in Ireland, road tripping the wild Atlantic way, and this week we leave County Cork, fall in love with Killarney National Park, and take a rather rough ride out to the Skellig Islands. That morning, we left our park up in Barley Cove to visit Mizzenhead. Mizzenhead is Ireland's most southwesterly point and is perched on the edge of the northeast Atlantic. Standing on Mizzen, surrounded by the pounding waves, it's impossible not to feel humbled by the raw power of nature. You'll also find an abundance of history and an intriguing human story. Mizzen's strategic geography made it a significant site for transatlantic shipping and communication and afforded many an Irish immigrant their final glimpse of home as they departed for a new life half a world away. Good morning and welcome back. We popped up to Miz and Head this morning and had a wander around there. Just me and Tasha left the dogs in the van um, just to have a little walk around and see what that was all about, which it was really good actually. Today we're after a change of scenery. We've been by the beach for about a week now. Um, the weather slightly turned today, so we've decided to head up to Killarney National Park. We've had quite a few recommendations from the locals to head up to this sort of area. So we want to get up, do a bit of walking, a bit of hiking now, head into the hills. I'm heading to the woodland a bit more and uh, go and find a nice park up there, hopefully. So before we do any sort of hiking this morning or any sort of uh, fun activity, we need to do some chores. So rubbish, fill with water and empty our grey waste if we can. So fingers crossed. Just found a little spot in Killarney Super Value just to fill up. It's quite a good facility actually, just the little tap and they even have a charging point here. Not that we need that on a sunny day like this, but um, yeah, it's quite a good little facility actually. We found quite a few of these little things around uh, in Ireland, which has been quite handy. I mean, it doesn't say it's for camper vans, I assume with the charger point it is, but yeah, it suits us. There we go, we've got the perfect five. Full fuel, empty toilet, empty grey waste, full water and no rubbish. So we pulled up to this spot about a couple of hours ago and as we pulled out Tash uh, shouted and she was like what's that in the in the sort of thick cover and uh, it's a seeker stag a fairly young one I think and he's three four meters away from us uh, stunning sight where we've parked at the moment is an absolute beauty of a park up we're in the middle of nowhere it's very quiet the odd car comes down this little lane uh, we've got a little river that's running just behind the van and it's just peaceful. So we plan to stay just for tonight and maybe hike tomorrow but I think we might stay for a couple of days and just relax, do some local walks. You guys okay? I was heading out for a bit of a walk this morning. We've had a we had an early start, but then we got um, 
we met one of the locals here. He's actually an English guy but lives here. Um, and he invited us up to his house for a cup of tea, which is very nice. So we were up there for an hour having a wander around. Um, now we're back, we're gonna head out a little walk out. We've got a lot of recommendations off him. Have a little walk to a local lake, I think. It's not very far, it's not uh, like a big hike or anything. It's just literally a walk, but head out for a couple hours. wander through the uh, Kalani National Park, Riley Hill, Riley. There's a few little lakes here and stuff which make their way down to Kalani. Uh, we met a few locals here that have said this is a really good spot to be and there's loads of nice walks so we're heading out on something today. It's not too strenuous, it's fairly flat. The whole, we're actually in the valley so the whole thing is, is fairly flat. So we were expecting our trip in Ireland to be very autumnal I suppose when we came over. We didn't have very good weather for the first five days. It was very summery still. The trees haven't started to go yet. It's still very warm. There's still shorts and t-shirt um, which has been nice. The rivers and lakes are very cold here. They're uh, harboring my swimming efforts. But Riley Hill, leave that. It's gone away. Heel. And a lovely little spot for the dogs just to cool off and have a bit of a uh well it's absolutely stunning yeah? beautiful so unfortunately a lot of the uh, major big hikes here um, are no dogs because they go across farmland um speaking to a few of the locals here this morning they say as long as you sense when your dog's always on a lead not causing any havoc then we should be fine so it's just something we need to um look into i think and go a bit careful Good morning. It's a couple of days since we picked you up. Uh, we spent the last couple of days at a beach on the Ring of Kerry, and this morning we're at Port McGee. Port McGee, yeah. Um, and this morning we're getting the boat out to the Skellig Islands, which is something we really wanted to do and we've been highly recommended whilst we're here. Um, so we're just heading down to the harbour now. We're booked on for the half 12, I think, because it was really hard to get tickets for actually, short notice. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to this.
So we're back from the Skello Garland tour, which was very good. It was so rough. It was unbelievable. Tash felt, well, we both felt quite ill through most of it, to be honest, but um, it was good. It was, uh, was it worth the 50 euros each? Mm, debatable. Um, but to be honest, they couldn't go around the north side of e either island because of how rough it was. Um, so we only got to see, obviously, the south and a bit of the east. Um, so, you know, it was quite short. We, we weren't there very long at all, um, but it was really, really rough. Saw some dolphins on the way back, which was quite good, which everyone on board enjoyed. Obviously, we've done a sea safari recently, so we'd seen a lot of that, but it was still nice to see these pods coming through the rough waves. Um, and then they headed back to shore just because it was so rough. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. I suppose you can't predict the sea and, you know, you know, some days they go out and it's lovely and uh, other days it's not. But we've got a nice little park up here. We're just going to have some dinner, relax for a little bit. And then we're going to head back to Killarney to pick up some bits, um, some food. And then I think we'll head to Inch Beach tonight. Another Inch Beach. We've already been to one, but apparently there's another. Here. I see Something for me Then he kept walking on down the road And I watched him We spent some time on some beaches on this channel as you've seen But this is a beauty And we're parked just behind the dunes In what seems to be like a no, like a, it's a beach car park, but it's like in the dunes. It's like it's like it should definitely be a camp spot. You should definitely have to pay a lot of money to stay here, but you can just park there for free and stay there overnight. Mad. This beach is impeccable. This is like out of Hebrides level beaches right here. Unreal. expected to pull up here tonight and just relax just stay one night and then we'll bugger off in the morning as it always goes I think we'll be here for a few days dogs seem to be enjoying this so uh, they're happy we're happy So this morning we're heading on a little walk up to Dunmore Head. Uh, it's another filming location for Star Wars, so we thought we'd come up and have a little look. We're free to park the van, but it is a bit tight for our van, really. We managed to get just alongside the road, tuck the van in. But getting out is going to be fun, but this is beautiful. The whole drive this morning has been incredible. Typical Irish weather has rolled in. So time to head back to the van, I think. Cup of tea time. We're gonna sign you off. So thank you so much if you got this far for watching this week. We got plenty more to come from Ireland. We're absolutely loving it, as you've seen, um, weather and all. Uh, so yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. See you Cheers. Next one.